Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing Texas pepper jerky. It's going to be amazing, flavorful, delicious, and tender, which is not usually the case when we're talking about beef jerky. And that's going to be because we're using a very special cut today. One of my absolute favorites comes from the inside rib of the cow. So it's not a mainstream cut, but it is something you can find nowadays. And it's called sirloin flap. And the, the French call it bavette. Just an amazing cut of meat, guys. Let's take a closer look here. So that's around a pound or so. Take a look at the marbling, guys. It's just absolutely amazing. This is the type of cut of meat that you can cook like a steak and almost eats like a brisket. It's just, it's so versatile. It's amazing. Try using this next time you make fajitas and you're going to just blow your friends away. But you'll notice that we have long grains here. It's one of the things that's really important when we cut our meat for beef jerky is we must cut against the grain. If not, it's just going to end up really, really tough and a waste of time, be honest. So we're cutting against the grain. So here's what makes our beef jerky here special. And you could use this recipe for any kind of cut of meat. I've got a link that'll be below in the description that I talk about the different cuts of meat that you can use to make beef jerky. So don't even worry about the cut I'm using here today. The process, the recipe, everything works for whatever cut you want to use. Notice how I'm cutting this and the pieces are getting thicker and bigger. And that's just from the angle of my knife, which is a really cool cutting trick. We're creating more surface area by planing the knife out, having it more flat to the meat. And you can see we have a lot of fat in here, which is not traditional for making jerky. So this is going to have a shorter shelf life, which is no big deal. When it's done, you put it in a, in a Ziploc bag and you store it in the refrigerator. When you're ready to eat it, you pull it out and you're going to have a really tender, delicious piece. So let's make a marinade here. I'm going to start with some teriyaki sauce. I'm using Kikuman for my brands. Got to get some soy sauce in there. That's probably the most traditional ingredient when making a marinade for beef jerky. I got a cup in there. All the measurements and everything will be in the link below. So no worries about any of that right now. Some Worcestershire. So we're starting off with a very traditional marinade for beef jerky. And then we're going to take it up a notch. Since this is Texas peppered beef jerky, we're going to get a little bit spicy. Another traditional ingredient, liquid smoke. You can find this at the grocery store nowadays. Just be very careful because it's very strong. So notice I dripped a little bit. I didn't go for a full teaspoon. <laughs> get a little brown sugar in there. And here's where we start changing things up a little bit. We're going to get a little bit spicy. So we're going to put some mustard in there, but jalapeno mustard. You could just take some minced up jalapenos and, and add it in there also. Here's a cool ingredient. Here's some wasabi, which you know is a floral, has a, a good bit of spice that comes on the front end and then quickly disappears. It's not like regular spicy stuff. It stays on your tongue. So it's kind of a, a secret flavor weapon. Grab some of your favorite hot sauce and add as little or as much as you like. It's definitely one of the ingredients that is a personal choice. And we're going to get everything happy here. Now, one of the things to consider is how long do you want to marinate your meat for? And I suggest not going all the 12 hours or 8 hours overnight because I think it robs the meat of some of its flavor. You know, we're using a very strong stuff like soy sauce, and it's hard to not notice soy sauce. You know, if you marinate it for just an hour, it's going to make a difference. But for me, I like four hours. I think four hours is the sweet spot where it's going to taste like something and it still can taste like meat. So think of it as the happy, happy middle. All right. Here's an interesting way, easy way to seal up the bag where you use the weight of the bag to force all the air out. So start at the bottom, start pinching, get all the, all the liquid down through base. And then you just fold the bag over on itself and it naturally pushes all the air out, which is cool. Bet a lot of you seen that before, but it's still a cool tip. So this I like to put inside of a, a bowl just to make sure there's no drip or anything like that. Get it all mixed up. Make sure those pieces aren't sticking together and none of the marinade got in there. And then in the refrigerator for at least four hours. So here's our dehydrator. Definitely put some aluminum foil at the bottom because things drip and it just makes cleanup a lot easier. And then when you're laying out your pieces, something to consider is how close you put them together. Because if you load up each screen a lot, it's just going to actually add more dehydrating time. So if you have the space, don't overcrowd it. But if you're short on space, just expect it's going to take a little longer to dehydrate. You might be closer to five, maybe even six hours. And it always depends on how thick you cut it. 
So boom, deliciousness, going to the dehydrator. And it's kind of cool that dehydration only takes a few hours. It's not like 24 hours or 48 hours. So we put the front on, real important there. Set the, the temperature to 160 degrees. I'm saying four hours. If you cut it thinly, let's take a look. That's beautiful jerky, guys. Just remember that it needs to be in a plastic bag stored in the refrigerator and not sitting on the counter like normal beef jerky could be. And you guys are going to have a tender, delicious, flavor-forward beef, beef jerky that you made yourself for a fraction of the cost, which is even better because we know beef jerky is so expensive. Feel free to use this recipe if you guys would like to start a beef jerky business. I'm totally cool with that. Come join us on social media, guys. We'd love to have you over there. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed. The recipe and all the instructions and more information about what cuts of meat you can use will be on the website. And you guys have the best. Take care.